Yeah, so. What's good, YouTube? So, I'm on my way to Micro Center, as you know. Every Sunday, I pretty much make a trip out there. I'm DeWine, by the way, if you ain't know. This year has been, like, a year of work. I've put in so much work. Um, working towards certifications, working towards getting my associate's degree, um, working towards improving my skill set in IT, working towards improving my writing skills, my communication skills, um, working towards being a better father, husband, son, friend, um, Learning to be a leader. Um, it's just work. And the thing that I'm learning most is that your mind is everything. What you put into your mind, the thoughts that you allow to grow in your mind, will determine your circumstances. There have been trying times throughout my life, just like in your life. I mean, that's part of living. You know, you go through things. And um, when I think about it deeply, most of the battles that I face are me mental pretty much because the stronger you are mentally, the stronger you will be in your battles and I'm saying all that to get to my point IT information technology is a journey now you look at me and you may think okay he's a black guy he talks IT he's pretty cool yeah I am pretty cool and I am black that's obvious but you may also look at me and think, he's a black guy, he has the same struggle as me, and relate to that. Or you may look at me as just, I'm a human being, and he's in IT, and he has the same struggle as me. Um, and what I'm saying is that in IT, we all go through the same struggle, whether you're black, white, Asian, um, Hispanic, whatever, Pretty much, IT is one of those areas where, yes, you're going to face um, prejudice, you're going to face racism, you're going to face favoritism, you're going to face um, gender, you know, um, situations to where you feel that people don't give you the same opportunities as they do other people. And sometimes it sucks. I mean, let's face it. But at the same time, you really do have to look deeper at yourself. Look at the skill set that you actually have. Look at the areas that you may be weak in. And so for me, what I've done this year is really taking a deeper look at who I am, what I do, what I can do, and what I can do better. And that's where I'm at. That's why I enrolled in school to get my associates and then work towards my bachelor's because I know that I can always improve. You know, I lab every day, not just because it's cool to say and it's cool to wear the shirt. You know, if you want the shirt, link in the description. But um, because it really does build your skill set really fast and it'll help you grow in so many ways. Um now, what I'm, my point of this video is to say that IT is truly a fight, battle, a journey. Um, it's really, there are, I've seen people get in IT and be truly successful. And I've also seen people that struggle, like, and are still struggling. So... And often, you know, taking a um, backseat 
view to someone else's life, you can sometimes see why they struggle. And other times it's like, man, I don't know why he is not where he, like over there, because he's really smart and he's really talented. Why is he in this position? So what I'm finding is that some people have drive. Other people do not have drive. Some people love to learn. Some people do not know know how to learn. And some people are stubborn. You know, you, you'll work with people that, you know, may be extremely bright, extremely smart, but do not know how to communicate with people. So that may hold them back. There's many things that may hold you back. So you really have to, first of all, get mentally strong to be on this IT journey because it's not easy. It By no means, IT is... In, with it being so vast, the the knowledge and the, the areas that you could travel down, you have to be mentally strong, have the capacity to learn, and you have to treat people how you want to be treated. But ultimately, you have to be strong because if doors are not opening for you, Look at yourself first to say, okay, where can I improve? And if you're making that improvement, if you're Im- improving your resume, you're networking with people, you're improving your skills by getting college degrees, certifications, and just learning as much as you can and preparing for interviews appropriately, and you're still not getting those opportunities. Now let's look at your job market to say, okay, I live in a small town of, I don't know, 30,000 people, and there aren't really too many major companies. So maybe you need to go out 50 miles further than where you are to see what job opportunities are there. And if you want to drive even further, look 100 miles. That's a long drive, but I'm just saying. Or if you want to relocate, relocate. You know, sometimes you have to do that. Let's, Let's face it. Life I believe brings you everything that you need and everything that you desire. But you have to have faith and you have to believe and you have to put in that work. You have to. I mean, faith without work is dead. (laughs) I mean, not to get biblical. It is Sunday not to get biblical or anything like that. But faith without work is dead. So you have to put in the work and you have to have faith. But yeah, IT is a battle. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, it's a journey. And you really have to have the mental capacity to be strong enough to learn and and just grow. You know, and if you don't, change your mindset. Because you change your mindset, you know, you change your life. You grow your mindset, you grow your life. It's simple. (laughs) <laughs> you know, and I really want you all to be successful. Me being on YouTube and connecting with people, that's, um, I'm an introvert. You may not realize that, you may not know that, but I am okay with being around people. I like to be around people, but not only am I an introvert, but I also... Whenever I communicate with people, I feel what they go through. And a lot of times, like, it weighs heavy on me because sometimes you guys tell me, like, what you're going through or, you know, the situations that you're facing. And my heart gets heavy, really. And I may not post a video a week or two because I'm trying to decompress, you know, I'm praying. And I'm asking God for strength because a lot of times, like... (laughs) I want to solve your problems. (laughs) You know, you may say like, hey, um, look, you may, somebody may hit me up about looking for a job or whatever. And I know how much work it takes. And I'm like, look, if you just do this, your life will change. The sad part is some people just will not put in that work. Or it's not clear the amount of work that it takes. And I'm hoping with this video, not only does it 
inspire you and motivate you and encourage you, but it stimulates you to work smarter, smarter first, always work smarter and harder. Take a deep look at who you are and what you can do and what you offer. And you can make it and you can do whatever you put your mind to. Whatever you put your mind to, you can do. Don't allow those thoughts of negativity, of incompetence, of insecurities. Don't allow any of that to take over your mind. Believe in yourself. You are great. You are able, capable. You're intelligent. You're beautiful. You're bright. Start putting those thoughts. Because positivity, the seed of positivity... It's so powerful. Uh, Yes, you need negativity in the world. Without negativity, you have no positivity. I'm going to let that soak in. But, and, and I say that because let's talk about, let's talk about, um, everything in life has a yin and yang. That's the only way life works. That's the only way you have balance in life. But, with, if you're having negative thoughts, the only way you can combat that is by being positive. If people are putting you down, don't add to that by putting yourself down. Say, okay, they're putting me down. But the truth is this. If someone says you're not good enough, tell yourself, I am good enough. If someone says you're not smart enough, I am smart enough. Or say, you know what? I don't know this yet, but I'm learning and I will know this. I can understand. I am capable of being anything I want to be. And I will be whatever I say I am. And I am whatever I say I am. Be strong. Be great. I'm about to go shopping in Micro Center. Hopefully. You know, I can catch up with you all soon. This was my spring break this week. And I really took some time to just reflect on my own person. Spend some time with my family. And just, I don't know, recharge. (laughs) Because I, I really feel I needed that. I was looking back and I was thinking about how much work I put in last year on YouTube. in In so many areas. Along with everything I was going through in my life. And I say, God, I want to be open. I want to share because, I mean, that's what we're supposed to do here. We're supposed to share and and help each other. But internally, it's so hard for me to be. um, It's so hard to me to just be open because, I don't know, like I said, I'm an introvert. And I've always, I grew up most of my life an only child. And so coming out to just. I don't know. Be with people has always been a difficult thing. Even though I've been in the military, one-on-one conversations are simple. I can do that any all day, all any day. But group settings, personal settings, people getting in my space, that's, that's always been difficult. And I'm praying that I can grow in that area, but I don't know. If I don't, I'm still, you know, going to do my best to be the best of man that I can be. But that's enough of that, man. Y'all enjoy y'all, y'all week. I wish y'all many, I pray you all many blessings, much success. If you got any interviews, I pray you get that job if it's for you. If you have any certification exams, I pray you pass those certifications. Another, yo, so Michael, shout out to you, bro. I'm wanting to do a video, you know, to, Michael's 14 years old, got a CSET, ICND1. He put it on LinkedIn. And it's, I don't know, I think it went viral on LinkedIn once he passed his certification. Not to single him out, shout out to everyone else that's passed, but you know, he's 14 and I really found that to be inspiring. I find it whenever you are, anybody, you know, gets a certification is inspiring, but shout out to Michael. And yeah, that's that. Like this video, share, subscribe. If you got questions, you want to talk about anything, let me know. Um, Keep believing in yourself, putting in that work, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.